Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I am your news host Parvati Nirban and let's go through the day of crypto world with English news bulletin. Crypto Wire, a crypto super app which also includes the channel Crypto TV, has launched India's first index of cryptocurrencies IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track performance of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrencies listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. To track the IC15 index and its constituents, download the Crypto Wire app from the Play Store. Here are the headlines. SC asks center to make its stand clear on legality of bitcoins. Bitcoin rebounds to over $38,000 after Biden's comment. Meta Zuckerberg reveals AI projects for creating the metaverse. Crypto exchange Bitfax founder plead guilty to Bank Secrecy Act violations. Ethereum mining pool Flex Pool halts all services to Russia after Ukraine invasion. Two European soccer clubs and a Vichy sponsorship deals. Elon Musk reportedly bought BAYC NFT for nearly 1.5 million dollars. FTX donates $25 to every Ukrainian account holder. Let's get into the news in detail. The Supreme Court on Friday asked the center to make its stand clear on bitcoins. Currently there is no regulation or any ban on the use of cryptocurrencies in the country. The top court orally inquired with the central government whether bitcoins are illegal or not. The court inquiry came while hearing the petition seeking cancellation of bail against Ajay Bharadwaj, one of the co-accused gain bitcoin scam among others in this case. The Supreme Court's query came in response to additional solicitor general Ashwarya Bhatti submission to the court that accused Bharadwaj involved in fraud of 87000 bitcoins was not cooperating with investigation and multiple summons have been issued so far. Bitcoin soared to over $38,000 Friday amid receding fears of immediate military engagement between US and Russia following US President Joe Biden's comments. US President Joe Biden vowed Thursday to defend every inch of territory after Russia sent forces into Ukraine but reaffirmed that no American troops would be deployed to Washington's ally. Biden in an address to the nation from the White House said that American forces will not be engaged in any conflict with Russia in Ukraine. The rebound comes after Bitcoin price collapsed to $34,500 yesterday after Russian forces began attacking Ukraine's military infrastructure. Bitcoin the biggest cryptocurrency by market capitalization was trading at $38,889 up nearly 10% in the past 24 hours while Ethereum the second largest cryptocurrency traded at $2,679 up over 12% during the same time frame Crypto market capitalization rebounded 10% to above $1.7 trillion amid receding war clouds Mark Zuckerberg, CEO and founder of Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has introduced several ambitious artificial intelligence projects crucial for constructing the metaverse to the public. In a live stream demonstration, he created a basic virtual world including an island, trees and a beach using the AI feature Builder Boat. Meta introduced Builder Boat, a new tool to fuel creativity in the metaverse using voice commands. Another tool being developed is No Language Left Behind, a system that translates all written languages. The tech giant announced a plan to build a universal speech translator that would instantly provide speech-to-speech -speech translation for all languages. Meta plans to hire 10,000 people in Europe to help build the metaverse. Zuckerberg promised that the AI systems driving Meta's virtual world would preserve privacy and be transparent and responsible. 
द फाउंडर्स ऑफ वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट वर्चुअल करेंसी डेरेवेटिव एक्सचेंज बिट मैक्स हैव प्लेड गिल्टी टू वायलेटिंग द बैंक सीक्रेसी एक्ट बाय फॉलोइंग टू एस्टेब्लिश एन एंटी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग प्रोग्राम द यू एस अटर्नीज ऑफिस इन मैन हटन सेड ऑन थर्सडे आर्थर हेयर्स एंड बेंजामिन डी लो हु फाउंडेड बिट मैक्स इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन ईच अग्री टू पे अ टेन मिलियन डॉलर फाइन अंडर द टर्म्स ऑफ देयर प्ली अग्रीमेंट विद द यू एस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जस्टिस इन ऑगस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन बिट मैक्स अग्री टू पे अप टू हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर टू सेटल सेपरेट चार्जेस फॉर अनलॉफुली एक्सेप्टिंग कस्टम ऑफ फंड टू ट्रेड क्रिप्टो करेंसी वेन इट वॉज नॉट रजिस्टर टू डू सो एज वेल एज फेलियर टू कंडक्ट कस्टमर ड्यू डेलीजेंस फ्लेक्सपूल The world's fifth largest Ethereum mining pool has cut services to Russian users following the country's invasion of Ukraine. The move was taken to show solidarity with Ukraine. Flexpool said Russia's invasion on Ukraine is an issue greater than politics and will probably claim the lives of several innocent people in Eastern Europe. The mining pool doesn't want to profit off the crisis or funded indirectly so is cancelling all services to russian ip addresses and paying outstanding balances to affected users flexpool said on its telegram channel while apologizing to russian miners according to chat groups on social media miners can use efficient vpns to bypass flexpool's restrictions portuguese soccer club sporting lisbon and italian team spezia cancelled their sponsorship deals with turkish crypto firm Bitchi according to reports Sporting Lisbon took the decision because Bitchi which operates a crypto exchange failed to make its payment while the reasons for Spezia's decision wasn't known immediately The development comes just 10 days after the motor racing team McLaren ended its relationship with Bitchi without assigning a reason Bitchi also operates a mining facility and offers fan tokens in partnership with a number of major sports brands Last year the company launched fan tokens for the national soccer teams of both Brazil and Spain as well as numerous club sides including the English Premier League's Wolverhampton Wanderers and Scottish Premiership team Rangers. According to NFT collector who goes by direct.eth on Twitter, the top tier Bored Ape NFT piece under the number 1837 was sold for 569 ETH. worth nearly 1.5 million dollars and was purchased by an anonymous moonpay-eth buyer which could have been used by musk to purchase the piece indirectly the theory was also shared by blockchain insider colin wu in his twitter account but it has not been confirmed by musk only time will tell if the tesla and space x ceo musk is really the anonymous buyer of the bayc nft One of the world's most popular cryptocurrency exchanges FTX is giving away $25 to every Ukrainian account holder registered on the platform. This was confirmed by the company's CEO Sam Bankman-Fried via his own Twitter account. The tweet has received over 38,000 likes and has been retweeted more than 4,450 times as at press time. This would mean that each Ukrainian FTX user would receive currency worth close to 745.5 Ukrainian hryvnias according to the latest exchange rates this move is the latest in the global crypto community show of support for this country's struggle in the face of unfolding russian invasion and begin in the early hours of february 24th that's all for today's news for daily news and updates keep watching crypto tv i am your news host parvati nirvan signing off for now see you tomorrow same time